Rabbit farming has grown from raising a few rabbits for family consumption to large commercial operations with hundreds of rabbits. Today, we'll share with you Rabbit Slaughter Factory rabbit meat processing machines that are at another level. So let's get into it right now. Before you start producing rabbits, you must identify your markets. Rabbits are raised not only for meat, laboratory use, breeding stock and angora wool, but also for their skins and for youth programs. When raising rabbits for meat, you must consider the availability of slaughtering facilities, type of packaging required, transportation cost, and potential buyers. Once you've researched your particular market, you can then plan the size of the plant required for the operations. If you're going for meat processing, there are two types of plants you can go for according to your production capacity. Compact plants and standard plants. Compact plants are specifically designed for small production capacities and consist of highly efficient, reliable, versatile, and cutting-edge machines. The best high-tech compact plant available is an all-in-one 500 UPH processing plant. The all-in-one 500 UPH processing plant guarantees an excellent final product. Engineers developed this plant based on the same field-tested technology used for larger plants for years, thus ensuring efficiency and solidity. Installation is easy, fast, and building work-free, thus allowing immediate commissioning once the plant has been positioned and connected to water and power supply. They're accessible on each side to guarantee easy cleaning. Rain standard equipment includes electronic stunning system, blood trough, fore legs cutter, skinning machine, viscera trough, hind legs cutter, rabbit belt conveyor, shackle washer, and plant general control board. Standard plants. Standard plants are designed and manufactured for complete lines or to be integrated with existing lines, thus increasing the automation degree of production and making operations safer, cleaner, more efficient, and more operator-friendly. There are several high-tech machines available, each carefully designed to cater specific needs and processes, so let's discuss each process-wise. Life Handling Crate Washer Today, health safety is crucial for processing plants. This crate washer is designed to remove even stubborn dirt. High water flow washing can remove the most resistant of deposits. The crate washer also filters used water that can be recycled, thus avoiding water waste. Its rational and advanced design offers remarkable advantages both in terms of machine cleaning and maintenance. Manual Line In rabbit processing plants, the manual line represents what we might define as the entry level of each production. It has to do with the system designed to support operators working in the life handling area, thus making their job faster and lighter. The line consists of a stainless steel roller conveyor with rollers made of synthetic material and of a high pressure cleaner. Crates with rabbits are manually slid on the roller conveyor, then emptied by operators at shackling, and at the end, washed by means of the high pressure cleaner. Semi-automatic line. This solution, being a semi-automatic system, is ideal for small production capacity plants. A stack of crates is loaded onto the lift, which aligns the crate on top with the roller conveyor. An operator slides the crate on the roller conveyor while the lift automatically aligns the following crate on top with the roller conveyor and so on. Operators' job is therefore safer and lighter because they don't have to lift crates one by one anymore. Crates running on the roller conveyor reach the shackling area where operators empty the crate that then move towards an automatic crate washer. At the exit of the crate washer, another operator stacks washed crates to be reused for animal transport. Depalletizing and palletizing line. This line wholly automatically destacks and stacks back again crates. It's a clear advantage in terms of both productivity and operators' comfort. Crates reach the plant stacked onto metal pallet, which can carry one or even two stacks of crates. By means of a forklift truck, an operator loads the pallet stacked crate onto the loading conveyor belt. From here onwards, the process is completely automatic. The conveyor belt moves the pallet stacked crates as far as the depalletization station, which destacks one level of crates at a time. Crates move towards the shackling area and, once emptied, move towards the crate washer first and then towards the stacking station, which stacks crates back again onto the metal pallet. Once done, everything is moved to the discharge conveyor belt, from which an operator, by means of a forklift truck, removes crates stacked onto metal pallets. Stunning and killing, 
Control Board for Stunning Stunning is one of the most delicate phases of the slaughtering process as it's intended to be used on animals which are still alive and conscious. Throughout the short interval separating stunning from death, the main factors related to animal welfare are the negative emotions experienced such as distress, fear, pain, and suffering. Effective stunning prevents animals from experiencing such emotions as it immediately makes animals unconscious. The correlation between animal welfare and health and food safety has been internationally recognized. To this aim, a regulation was issued to define the minimal stunning parameters, minimal current for each type of animal, frequency, and last but not least, work cycle and waveform. This system is made up of a variable frequency sine wave counter current generator which allows to set stunning current according to the type of animal to be processed, thus extraordinarily increasing stunning effectiveness since it automatically compensates in a given range those contact anomalies between animals and stunning electrodes which occur even in case of proper stunning operations. Blood Trough After killing, it's necessary to collect blood during the bleeding phase. The trough is located just next to the operator who cuts the carotid arteries to the aim of collecting blood during the bleeding phase. It's designed and manufactured in various forms and sizes to be installed in any processing plant and to fit to any hour capacity. Skinning Machine This is a brand new machine for the complete rabbit skinning to the benefit of operators who don't have to remove rabbit skins anymore. By means of two chains, this machine clamps rabbit skins previously lowered by operators and, moving downwards, completely removes rabbit skins. This machine never damages rabbits, meets any production capacity, can be installed in any plant, is simple, efficient, and doesn't require any service. Evisceration Abdomen Opener This machine automatically opens rabbit abdomens and ensures uniform cuts even in case of flock variances. Furthermore, the rabbit positioning system guarantees that both viscera and bladder aren't damaged. Above Shackle Hind Legs Cutter This machine represents the ideal solution for processing plants needing to cut hind legs above the knee. This machine is usually installed immediately after the bleeding phase because rabbit hair flying in the air following the hind legs cut settles on rabbit skin, thus rabbit meat doesn't come into direct contact with hair floating in the air and isn't contaminated so it doesn't require washing. Pneumatic Four Legs Cutter This machine fits for small medium processing plants and can process up to 1600 rabbits an hour. Its working principle is simple. Whenever a rabbit approaches, a micro sends a signal that makes the cutting hand with self-adjusting blade for flock variants lift. Compact in size and easy to install, this machine can be practically installed anywhere along the line. No modification is required. It's extremely versatile and long-lasting thanks to its simple construction, functionality and low maintenance. The use of stainless steel and thermoplastic material makes it sturdy and washes it fast and effectively. Cooling Multi-shackle chain the slaughtering cycle ends up with carcass cooling. The system with dual or quad shackles is extremely efficient and cheap. Basically, rabbits are manually hung to multi-shackles and cooling is carried out through air recirculation. This system requires minimal space and guarantees an excellent final product thanks to air cooling. Cut up and byproducts evacuation. This machine automatically cuts up to 25 rabbits an hour. It's an inline cut-up, allowing high performances to large plants. This machine consists of several modules and can be shaped according to customers' requirements. It's PC-controlled and allows to automatically adjust the length of each single cut as well as the exclusion of any cut-up module. Furthermore, thanks to PC control, it's possible to simultaneously carry out various cut-ups. Byproducts Evacuation Machine the byproducts evacuation machine consists of various modules, thus allowing the installation of one or more collecting points as well as one or more unloading points. The system is shaped according to the processing plant as well as to waste treatment requirements. This system doesn't require any service because vacuum is created by a fan which allows to evacuate byproducts having considerable size without using shredders. So that's all for today's video and until next time, bye for now.